guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Hakuoki Kyoto Wins, where today we are starting Suzumu Yamazaki's route. And yeah, I mean, Yamazaki has been a very sweet bean whenever he's shown up, but he's died in every route at the end. So I'm really pleased that we're going to keep him alive for once. I mean, I'm assuming he has to be alive, right? Because we gotta continue dating him in the second game, right? <laughs> I'm always sad when he dies. He always just breaks my heart. So I'm, I'm hoping to keep him alive this time. It's my sole mission in life. So me and Cheese are gonna do our best to make that happen. But anyway, I've got my cheat sheet here because we're at the beginning of our choices. And uh, I don't know which ones are gonna lead us to. Some of them I do, like going with Toshi on his rounds. I know we'll meet Yamazaki there and stuff like that. But otherwise... With this kind of vagueness, I don't really know. So, uh, to start off, we're going to find a way to escape. Ugh, I need to move a little closer to the microphone. There we go. So we're going to skip forward a bit, because Yamazaki doesn't actually show up here in the beginning. Um, and then I need to stay where I was. We'll run into the Yamazaki in a little while. I imagine his route's actually going to be fairly short, because we don't spend a lot of time with him. When he's, when he's on screen, it's usually only for a few minutes. At least until later on in the chapters. Maybe we'll start spending more time with him then, but in these early chapters, probably not going to be spending a whole bunch of time <laughs> reading stuff. I'm sad seeing Sanan again. That sweet boy. Also, my mouse is still slightly on screen. Can you move down there? Thank you. Um. Yeah, so I know Yamazaki has intense respect for Toshi. Um, and he's good friends with Shimada. And um, the original being Hajime. Um, okay, so I need to stay put. Have tea with Kondo. So, I know, like, spending time with those three in particular should be a good, pretty good, um, chance of running into Yamazaki. Um, and, uh, wow, I had no idea. Kondo? Who would have known? He's also not here for dinner, so we're gonna skip through that. <laughs> I wonder... Yeah, we do... We do run into him in chapter one. Very briefly with Toshi, I'm pretty sure. He might show up one other time. I think it depends on what choices you've made, though. She'll be like, this is Suzumu Yamazaki, and this is Shimada. They're both aware of my situation, that I'm actually a lady. <laughs> because they are the best spies in the watch kind of thing, so. But I'm not sure if that will happen with the choices we're making right now. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Just gotta keep on skipping ahead. I can't believe how much stuff we're actually running through, but <laughs> this is what this is gonna happen for probably the next three three or four possibly what's left. I should check my warrior record. Who's left? I know we've got Eba. Um, and I'm going to ask to help around the compound and be very helpful to Toshi. Um, we got Eba. We've got Sakamoto. We got Kazuma. I'm trying to remember if I'm missing one other guy in there or not. I'm gonna feel really bad if I forgot one guy. <laughs> I don't think I have. Um, okay, so we're gonna accompany Hijikata. I think I'll I'll start yakking from here. Should be a good spot. Also, I just need to hold my book down so it doesn't roll away. In that case, please allow me to accompany you, Hijikata. Hey, what the hell are you saying? Hichikata's voice trembled irately, as if troubled by my suggestion, which made me nervous, but I thought I had a shot in convincing him. 
I mean, walking around town with you may help with getting leads to find my father. With the other warriors questioning my place, it may be in our best interest for me to act like your page. It could convince the others. I recalled in this moment my introduction to Takeda, who voiced his skepticism plainly. After sharing my viewpoint, Hijikata's expression soured, then he responded. Listen, there is no need to believe in what Soji was describing about the city. He's just having fun and messing with- Now, aren't you happy you have an adorable little page, Hijikata? Hijikata stared bitterly towards Okita, and again it seemed we were trapped in their bubble of silence, but eventually- very well, but you'd better make absolutely sure that you stay the hell out of my way. Yes, I understand. I was somewhat surprised he obliged me, but I was so excited to join Hijikata and go outside. Alright, let's meet our new bean. It's been almost five months since I've been able to experience the world and its scenery. Ugh, how did I end up in this predicament? I can't really go back on my word. Hijikata kept himself a few paces ahead of me deliberately, and his foul mood made me nervous. His cold demeanor caused me to question whether or not I'd belonged here, if this was my place. It was difficult to turn these questions to and fro in my head, but I was trying to keep up with him. Actually, in all my yakking. Oops, I just wanna, I wanna look at the warrior record. Okay, so we have Soma. I forgot. So I knew there was one other guy. Soma, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're also a sweet cinnamon roll. Okay. Yeah, but most of these guys, we're going to be skipping through a lot of stuff going forward. <sighs> Man, I'm a terrible person. Anyway. Someone called out as we passed the tea shop. Hey, there he is. Commander, there you are. I have a report for you, sir, that needs to be disclosed as soon as possible. If this person referred to Hijikata as commander, then he must be a Shinsengumi member. He whispered the report in Hijikata's ear. The man's words caused Hijikata's face to turn blank, and he looked to me to speak. I have an urgent matter to attend. I am entrusting you to stay at this shop and ask about Kodo. Huh? But then I'd be by myself. Would that be alright with you? In response, Hijikata gave me an examining glance, as if to probe all of my hidden thoughts, then looked down at me while asking, Did you plan on joining me just so you could run away? When his eyes met mine, the pit of my stomach dropped, turning cold from nervousness. N no of course not! Then don't bother me with stupid questions. You are to do as you are told, then you wait. Got it? Okay, understood. I wasn't sure what Hijikata's intentions were by leaving me behind, but... It was probably smarter to do as Hijikata said, so I asked the person at the shop about my father. I'll be good. Okay, where to start? Well... Takada's gonna come and cause a ruckus. Hey, Eba, I was just talking about you. Alright, so I know that I need to not get any points with this guy just yet. I'm really interested to do Eba's route. I feel like it's gonna be a very satisfying childhood friends kind of route. I hope she does um, remember him at some point and isn't, like, until the very end. Like, he's just pretending, like, oh, yeah, I've never known you for sure. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Isn't it weird? <laughs> so, I'm hoping. All right, we made it through chapter one. We didn't even say hello to Yamazaki yet. We haven't actually spoken directly. We've just seen each other in passing. So... You know, that's a really good way to start off a relationship. <laughs> uh. uh, rounds. Right, I don't 
think I want to go. I'm going to double check because I need to run with Yamazaki. I actually get to, like, get points with Yamazaki this time around, which would be great. Uh, yeah, so I need to remain in the compound. I won't make any stupid suggestions for a change, which will be nice. Hi, old boo. <laughs> you look handsome as usual. <laughs> Alright. Gotta wait for night and for Sanan to be like, well, I guess I'm gonna protect you. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for Yamazaki to pop in. There he is! All right, let's do this. Colonel Sanon, we've confirmed that the Choshu are meeting at Aketa. The Aketa Inn? Oh dear. That's less than desirable. The Shinsengumi has never been good with chance. His tone was light, but his face was serious, and with good reason. They'd been certain Shikoku was the right location, and had sent only half as many men to Aketa. Yamazaki, can you do me a favor? The man whom he'd called Yamazaki nodded curtly. He is the Shinsengumi officer and spy, as well as a member of the Watch. Despite not living in the Yagi, uh, yeah, Yagi residence, he is aware of my situation. First, go tell Hijikata that the enemy is meeting at Ikeda. He should still be on his way to Shikoku. And I'm sorry to trouble you with it, but I need you to take this child with you as well. W wait Yamazaki seemed just as surprised. I paused before thinking about what's next. Uh, why me? Why me? I feel like if I were to go with him, I would only be a burden. <laughs> Yamazaki's like, well, yeah, kinda. Why did he choose me? I can't stand the thought of getting in someone's way and being the reason something bad happens. You may be a burden, but at the end of it you could also save someone's life if you're lucky. Sanan responded while giving me a cold gaze. There may be Ronin out to intercept you. And besides, there is a chance that Choshu has reinforcements. If your message were to be intercepted, then you will be sure not to reach Hijikata in time. Sanan finished with a soft smile I hadn't seen him use for weeks. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Yes. If the worst should happen, I can hold off any Choshu Ronin and give her the message. What?! It sounded as if they were suggesting if things went badly, Yamazaki would sacrifice himself. Yes. Of course, I doubt it will come to that. We're short of men right now, which means there's more I need you to do. You'll need to notify the Aizu and Judiciary Commissioner as well. That would have Yamazaki running all across Kyoto. I suppose it really drove home just how thin the Shinsengumi was stretched. And there's no other person that could do this job? Um, what about Shimada? Shimada is another Shinsengumi spy who is trusted enough with knowledge of my situation. Sanan shook his head. The Shinsengumi need every single member they can get, and Shimada was with the Shikoku team. Which means that, apart from Yamazaki, I was the only one that could possibly serve as a messenger at the moment. You're Yukimura, right? I heard you know a little about how to protect yourself. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee your safety. If you can manage, you're welcome to join me. If I tried to run away while we were out, I had no doubt that he would kill me without hesitation. This mission is his priority, not my life. Even so... I'll go. I can take care of myself. You don't need to worry about me. Sanan gave me a small smile. I knew he wanted to join the battle more than, than anyone, but we both knew that wasn't possible. The least I could do was carry out my mission. Very well. I accept your request, Colonel. He bowed, then as he stepped out of the room and turned to me. Run with all your might. I took off after him, my legs working as hard as they could. Into the dark street we ran. I discovered quickly that half a year indoors did little for my physique and I was out of shape. 
After only a few blocks, I was gasping for breath. Yamazaki, who was running ahead of me, suddenly stopped and looked sharply behind us. You have beautiful eyes, by the way. No matter what happens, follow the street. Don't look back. Don't tell me someone's behind us. You don't need to know that. Seems like Yamazaki's hunch was right. What should I tell him? I will do my duty, sir. I understand. I will get the message to them. Alright! First butterfly on moon! I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I'm smart this time. I'm putting it in your hands. Got it! When we left the compound, I'd already decided that Yamazaki deserved my utmost, utmost trust. So I didn't look back. Wow! Good job, girl! Believe in the bean! Hello? As I stepped into the next intersection, I saw a flash of metal from the corner of my eye. Keep going! I'll catch up in a moment! Just keep running until you see a white uniform! Right! I kept running. I pretended I didn't hear the sounds of swords ringing against one another behind me and ran. My knees felt weak and my legs shook, but I kept going. They'd have to collapse or tear themselves to pieces before I'd stop. Even so, I felt so slow. I wanted to cry out, to scream at my body to go faster. Faster! Ah! Uh? A bright light suddenly cut through the darkness, and I placed my hand over my eyes from the glare. My heart stopped. Was it Choshu soldiers? I froze. What the hell are you doing? I very nearly began to cry with relief. Hijikata was not dressed in the usual light blue jacket, but rather a bright white uniform to be seen in dimly lit places. Instead, I simply collapsed as Harada reached out to grab me. Hey, you alright? If you left the headquarters without permission, Hijikata's gonna kill you. I grabbed hold of Harada's hand and pulled my body to its feet. I wanted to tell him I had permission to leave and explain it was alright for me to be there, but I was so winded that I could barely speak. Besides, I wasn't sent to Hijikata to make excuses. I took as deep of a breath as my shuddered lungs could manage before speaking. <sighs> the, they're... They're meeting at Ikeda. Suddenly, Hijikata's expression changed. Then they are at Ikeda. I nodded rapidly. Are you sure? Hijikata gestured toward me. Sanon lost his arm, not his brain. The kid didn't run away. The colonel sent us this message. I'm pretty impressed you found us. I didn't think you knew Kyoto that well, kid. Yeah, Yamazaki. I finally got some of my breath back, and I did my best to tell them what had happened. What about the Aizu and the commissioner's men? Are they on their way to Akeda? I just shook my head. Hijikata thought for a moment, then spoke. Saito, Harada, you take our men to Akeda. I need to go deal with something. Harada and Saito nodded curtly, then turned to their business. Kyoto will be dangerous for you alone. Stay with us, or go with Hijikata. I still lacked the breath to respond properly, so I simply nodded. We both knew they couldn't leave me here, but whom should I accompany? I'm pretty sure I should go with Hijikata, but I'll just double check. Uh, yes. Because I know Yamazaki shows up there. The prospect of being alone with him was rather frightening, but for reasons I still don't understand, I decided to go with Hijikata. We were quiet for a while. I felt like I should say something, but I wasn't sure what. Instead, I kept quiet. After a moment, he glanced down at me. Oh, points with you too, that's okay. Good job with that message. It might have given us the advantage we need. I never thought Hijikata, of all people, would praise me for anything. My heart fluttered momentarily in my chest. Girl, keep your eyes on the bean, okay? <laughs> but what did he mean by an advantage? 
If the battle at the Akeda Inn had begun, it didn't seem like we had much of an advantage at all. Wait and see, girl. Toshi's got this. We stepped from the alley into the central avenue. Um, Hijikata, why are we out here on the street? What kind of man tries to hide all the time? I blinked, not sure what to make of that. Yamazaki appeared beside us without making a sound. Yamazaki! You're safe! He didn't seem to have been hurt at all, thank goodness. Yamazaki's eyes slid to me for a moment, then back to Hijikata. You're aware of the situation at Akeda, I assume. Colonel Sanan ordered me to notify the Aizu and the Judiciary Commissioner, but... Yeah. I'll have new orders for you in a few minutes. Stick close for now. Understood. Your commander needs to go have a word with a bunch of useless bastards. Deep in his cold eyes, I saw a spark of anger. They appeared as the words came out of his mouth, lines of government soldiers marching toward us. There were hundreds of them, marching across the entire width of the street several rows deep. Now I understood why Hijikata took us out into the street. We would never have seen the government force as we shimmy through the back alleys. There was something about their march, so slow and unconcerned, that lit the fires of anger in my eyes. The rest of the men are still fighting at the inn. The Shinsengumi had a few soldiers able to fight, but they were risking their lives for Kyoto. Didn't these men have the same responsibility? Why weren't they rushing to help us at the inn? Perhaps my anger was more obvious than I realized because Hijikata gave a snort of laughter. <laughs> don't worry. I'll make sure they don't screw us. He stepped forward into the very middle of the street, directly in front of the advancing soldiers. All he did was move a few feet and turn to face them, but he held such authority in his movements. He could have easily been at the head of an army. The Shinsengumi are currently conducting an official investigation of the Akeda Inn. You will not interfere. You will not enter the Akeda Inn. Even I could see that the government men were going to protest Hijikata's proclamation when Yamazaki leaned over to whisper in my ear. If we let these men walk into the inn, then they'll take credit for subduing the Choshu threat. What? How could they? After all the Shinsengumi had done, it just didn't seem fair. But... But it's the men of the Shinsengumi who are risking their lives! Then you see now how little respect they have for the Shinsengumi. The commander is single-handedly protecting the Shinsengumi right now. If we allow them to step into the Akeda Inn, they will spread tales of their false heroism. All that we may do here tonight will be in vain if we allow them to front the raid. That is why the commander is trying to prevent the Aizu Domain from intruding. Yamazaki held Hijikata in such high regard. So when Hijikata said we have an advantage, this is what he was referring to. But, but we must. You really think you can fit all these men in there? The best you'll be able to do is surround it. Unless you really want to send them in there to die. There's a fight going on. If you value the lives of your men, I suggest you stay put. Ah. <sighs> Hichikata's tone, as much as his words, left no room for argument. Until the battle ended, he stood his ground, and not a single man challenged him. Go, Toshi! Alright, so our part in that is done for now. wonder what happens next. I'm trying to remember the timelines. What's happening now? Weeks have passed. In the meantime, the Shinsengumi grew stricter during their rounds to arrest the numerous outlaw Ronin that escaped from the Akeda Inn. Rumors surfaced of extremists who were plotting to exact revenge on the Shinsengumi. Additionally, there were also problems occurring with warriors spanning from other domains, making things tense around the headquarters. Things were finally settling down. Oh, is Eva coming to visit? Yes. Alright, Eva's come to visit us. So, 
I think we have an option with Eba because we've met him before, which we don't usually have at this point in the story. But I picked it before and not got not got points with him, so we can do that. Yeah. Were you a patient and not a kid brother friend type person? <laughs> I think the next thing is... I'm a, um... Oh, what's it called? Basically where we leave to go to war. <laughs> I think that's the next thing. Alright, what's happening now? Harada and Shin. Okay, yep. Um, so I think I want to come. Yamazaki does go. Yes, I do want to come. Alright. Let's do that. Oh. When I hear this music, I automatically am just like, what's happening romantically? <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. We're going off to war. And we can skip a lot of the marching this time around. Because Yamazaki doesn't actually show up until we get to the gate, I believe. So I'll just sip some water until we get to the gate. Yamazaki's very good at hiding in plain sight. <laughs> he just suddenly appears out of nowhere most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Harada trying to make them play still. And now we're gonna walk off to the gate. And I think we need to stay with Saito. We can start here. What are the Choshu thinking? They've raided the Imperial Estate. I find it difficult to know what they're doing. How do they claim to be an imperialist domain? Kondo simply nodded. The Choshu define themselves as among those who revere the Emperor, yet they attack his home? It didn't make sense to me either. Nevertheless, the damage was done. That sounds like the Amazaki to me. Nope, that's Hajime. I was in the middle of pondering their reasons when Saito returned to me. It appears the Choshu attacked Hamaguri in the early morning, but were repelled by the combined forces of the Aizu and Satsuma. The forces standing against them were too much for the Choshu, who were forced to retreat. The corner of Hijikata's mouth curled into a grin. So, Satsuma is helping Aizu now, are they? Times sure are changing. Considering their less than friendly past, it would seem the Choshu became their common foe. The Satsuma and Aizu domains hadn't been on the best of terms. I thought that they outsmarted the family domain and allied with the Imperial Court to expel foreigners. However, I recall my father telling me that they were not much different from the Choshu. Unlike the Choshu, however, they'd gone to war with a foreign force and suffered a devastating loss. Following their defeat, I learned the Satsuma began to reconsider their nationalistic stance. However, these were only rumors, and what had come to pass had yet to be fully determined. Hejikata! Supposedly there's still some of those Choshu bastards fighting over at the Kuge Gate. Hejikata's expression changed as he considered Harada's words, but before he could open his mouth to speak, Yamazaki appeared. Commander, we believe the men who led this raid are headed for Mount Tenno. Mount Tenno was located between Kyoto and Osaka. Supposedly, they're in the middle of escaping from Fushimi towards Osaka. After hearing the report from both Harada and Yamazaki, Hichikata contemplated deeply. Although Kondo was recognized as the formal head of the Shinsengumi, I had learned from everyone that all major decisions were deferred to Hichikata. This was no exception, and I could see that all eyes were on him. He was silent for a few moments, and then I saw his mouth curve in a small smile. Looks like our work's cut out for us, boys. Harada. Take your men to Kuge Gate to deal with those Choshu bastards. 
Sure thing, boss. Saito, Yamazaki, I want you to figure out what the situation is here. Hold Hamaguri Gate. As you wish. Got it. Your job's a tough one, Chief. I know this is a bitch, but I want you to speak with the Aizu bigwigs about a punitive expedition. So, punitive expedition for the Choshu, right? Some of those bastards are headed for Tenno, but others will run around and cause trouble. If we're gonna go after them, then we'll need to leave Kyoto, and only you can get us those papers. The Shinsengumi were entrusted with the protection of Kyoto, and if this war was for aiding the Aizu, then they had to do more than just guard the gate. Leaving our post, however, to chase after the Choshu troops meant that we needed permission from the military commissioner, meaning the Aizu. I see. If it's the chief of the Shinsengumi, the commissioner's office will listen to what we want. After what we'd gone through the day before, I didn't imagine Kondo's task would be an easy one. Still. If the representative was anyone other than Kondo, the Aizu would be unlikely to grant the request, let alone entertain the notion of a meeting. Gen, I want you to go with them. Somebody has to keep an eye on our chief, alright? Of course. I'll do my best, Commander. Another laugh ran through the soldiers, and Kondo's mouth twisted into a wry sort of grin. Perhaps he chose not to deny it, because he knew he might go a little crazy. The rest of you are coming with me to Tenno. As for you... He looked directly at me. I wasn't a warrior, nor did I have political ties. Hechikata didn't know what to do with me. Suddenly I felt very much like a dead weight. You can't go with Kondo, but other than that, it's up to you. All right. Kondo was meeting with the leaders of the Aizu. If I joined him, there would be nothing for me. I had many options for what I could do. Hijikata would be pursuing the leaders of the Choshu attack toward Tenno Mountain. Saito would be staying at Hamaguri Gate to protect it and to gather information. Harada and his men would be going to Kuge Gate to stop the attack on the Imperial Estate. The question was, where would I go? Right where I am. I decided to remain at Hamaguri Gate with Saito. Before long, the rest of the Shinsengumi was gone, and it was time for us to begin our own mission. First, we must speak with the Aizu on behalf of the Shinsengumi. In all the excitement, I completely forgot that the Shinsengumi were ordered to stay with the reserves. Instead, we'd chosen to march to battle. Saito was probably right to try and smooth things over with the Aizu as soon as possible. If you like, I can take care of that. I imagine recent events have thrown their commanders into confusion. They shouldn't impede us. Okay. Then I will leave that task to you, Yamazaki. Send word for me if you encounter any difficulty. And he's gone. Yamazaki bowed once, then turned on his heel and disappeared. <laughs>